I was born on the 24th of August 2000 in Mosgrove in Toronto. Um, so basically, Tootsie Collins is a facial disfigurement. Where, so when I was born, I was, I was born without no ears, no cheekbones, and a receding jaw. So over the years, I've had over 30 operations. I might have more to come, but that's depending on whether I need it or not. Um, the one operation that I might need is another jaw distraction, where they break the jaw, bring it forward, which is painful. I went to two different primary schools. Um, the second primary school, I was bullied mentally, physically, mentally, verbally, everything. I wasn't even in there two weeks. Um, I was picked on by two boys. At first I thought it was one of those things what children do to mess around, pick on people, but it got to a point when I do it every day. Then they would check me up in corridors and pin me up against the wall. Um, call me ugly child. Um, and there was one day when I was going to see a friend of mine and um, she only lives two minutes away, cycle ride. They chased me home where I, my immediate reaction was to get on my bike and cycle. So I turned around and I just went. If they, well, I nearly got run over basically because of the panic I was in. I just didn't know what to do and I just cycled. But yeah, it was awful. Why me? I used to come home every day to my parents crying. Why me? Why me? Why is it always me? Why could be? Why couldn't it be someone else? It really knocked my conf confidence down. I hated going out. Hated me seeing people in the public. I just didn't like going out. I just wanted to sit in my room and hide away. But I couldn't do that because I've got my family and my grandfather who sadly passed away back in September. And they were the only people there that would give me that boost to do things and get me out. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here today. So basically, back in April 2017, I started to work with a charity called Fitzy. They are a national charity that works between 16 to 25 year olds to basically fit on any kind of topic. So mine is on bullying and raising awareness of my condition. Um, so I did like a um, campaign video with them. That got sent off to ITV News my country, then it went viral. It was seen by many, well not, I won't say many, but thousands over the world. Then I went on to meet my men to share my story again back in January 2018. Then I went on to the Jeremy Carl show back in October 2017 to also share my story and get the message out there that bullying is not acceptable. And I've done like all kind of social media topics, so I've become ambassador for a couple of charities. And I just want to get the message out there that just because we're all different, we're all the same. There's no need to, for us to be bullied at all. Open up. When I went through it, I left it too late. And when I left it too late, I had to open it all up. And that was a big struggle for me to open up. But if you are being bullied today, and whether it's the start, the middle, or you're at that end or breaking point, open up because you have got like, support around you. Like, I have my family, my grandfather, um, I have friends that were there, but mainly my family were there. Um, I opened up to my family first because I didn't want to tell my friends, and the support I had from them has been amazing. Um, and now with my aunt's opinion campaign, what I'm saying my story and that, the support I've had from my family, my friends, my close friends, the public, social media is amazing. To share your story with what I've been doing on social media, on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and that, is amazing. 
I just love getting sharing my story. Um, there was one time I got called an attention seeker because when I was doing the filming for Jeremy Kyle, you get free journey up and back, free meals and up. And then um, the person that called me an attention seeker said, he's only doing it for the free stuff. And I thought, hang on a minute, I'm not doing it for that. I'm doing it for something important.